First Peter two and two says, as newborn babies desire the sense of the sincere milk of the world of the word, that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen, chosen of the Most High and precious. If they believe on what we're saying, because we're told about the Most High, and we're still saved by that. Damn. Damn. Yeah. This is Isaiah 20, 20, 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good precept. Right. Well, basically, you can't be no baby when you're dealing with these scriptures. Right? You have to do it in spirit and in truth. You have to be a man. Right? Only true men are going to come out here and do this truth. Tobit 12 and 7. Tobit 12 and 7. It is, a, it is good to keep close the secret of the king, but it is honorable to reveal the works of the Most High. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch. Prayer is good with fasting and alms with righteousness, and little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. Alright? And alms is what, man? That's giving service. That means if my brother needs a shirt, I got a shirt. There you go. There you go. Charity, man. He just wants to give him something. Yeah. Right. No, no. Me, not a beggar's life. Alright? And, and he didn't want the word. He don't want the word. Because if he wanted the word, he would ask the question. He stopped, looked at us, and was like, nope. Uh, Tobit 12 and 11. Surely I will keep close nothing from you, for I say, it was good to keep close the secret of the king, but that it was honorable to reveal the works of the Most High. So we're doing an honorable work. That's why we say double honor to the elders. Alright? Because they put in work for 20, almost 30 years, man. Right? Well, that's why we take honors to our brothers on the four corners, because they're still out there pumping out the truth, man. Alright? But look at, look at the majority of Jake, though. The majority of Jake, they don't give the most high no honor. They don't give him no truth. They don't give him nothing, man. No humbleness, no nothing. Uh, 
to make it up there. We, we know and explain that they're not teaching us no lies because ain't nobody ever came out the way that they're coming out with the truth. Uh. These pastors ain't doing it like that. They proof and everything through scripture. First time I've heard it, man, I'm doing the truth. Right? They've proven everything through the scripture. We have to make us up to the so like, God, man, you fucking up. Going on, talking about they just say that. They ain't getting that too. From what they say, I'm believing what they say. I believe that they're the men of the Lord. Huh. Also, I was been doing it for years. Man, uh, that's not nothing. Like they did. They used to think that the father of God was the heart of the But now he's thinking that they're the heart of the heart This is wisdom of Solomon 7 and 22. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtile, lively, clear, undefiled, slain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be lessened, ready to do good, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going to all understanding, pure and most subtle spirit, for wisdom is more moving than any motion. That's, a, man, that's some strong meat right there, man. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes, she passes, and going through all things by reason of her pureness. For without wisdom would nothing work. It took wisdom to put your legs accordingly. It took wisdom to give you lungs so you could breathe. It took wisdom to give you trees so you could breathe through that air. It took wisdom to make a chariot of that long. It's not the best wisdom, but it's still wisdom. For our chariots, we use what? Horses and iron. Right? Things that, hey, if, it, if it's broken down, we can go ahead and break that, melt it down, and use it for something else. We can't use this for nothing else, man. That's not being wise. Well, uh, um, we just here basically to let everybody know that so far white men are still going to stay going in the place. We gotta get this out. This is Jeremiah 25 and 26. It says, and all the kings of the north far and near one with another, and all kingdoms of the world which are upon the face of the earth, and the king of success, right, uh, shall drink after them. Uh, them thus said the Lord of hosts, the most high of Israel, drink ye, and be drunken, and Oh, spew and fall. We can't be drunk if I'm drunk enough to lie. Mm -hmm. Can't drink if I'm drunk enough to lie. But I can't drink if I'm drunk enough to lie. Uh, yeah, but I can't drink if I'm drunk enough to lie. Yeah, but I can't drink if I'm drunk enough to lie. And rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be if I refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink. This shall thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, ye shall, the Lord of hosts. ye shall certainly drink. For lo, I began to bring evil on the city, which is called by my name. And should be, and should ye be utterly unpunished, um, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants. Right. So, so, so these so-called white men is not going to get unpunished for putting us through slavery, uh, destroying all the nations, and destroying the uh, air, and the water, and everything else. They're destroying everything in the world. These so-called white people are destroying everything in this world right now. Everything is polluted because of these white devils. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm 
Because when the so called Greeks came into power, that's when the evils were multiplied in the earth. Mm. So that's the thing that they're the border with you. And they, and they make us drink off a uh, cup of philosophy, mm. which uh saying that Jesus is so called white man with long hair. Long hair is uh, a shame. That's a shame for a man to have long hair, but yet to pick the image of Jesus, he paired all past his shoulders. Mm -hmm. So that's a contradiction. Maccabees <clears throat> 1 and 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then he died. And his servants, they ruled everyone in the place. I'm talking about Alexander the Great and the four generals. I believe it was uh, Bartholomew, Las Vegas, Cassander, and uh, this other one's name. But it was the four generals and they had four kingdoms. Was in Greece, one was in Egypt, one was in Egypt. I believe it was other ones they had in total Asia and uh, the Empire of Babylon. Uh -huh. And he said that after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. Because so you look at the flood, the Ptolemy dynasty, he had, he had seven sons named after him. And evils were multiplied in the earth. Because of, because of the damn group that came in front of us. So called white people. That's when the evil is the most applied on the earth. And Americans built just like the Greeks. Hmm. Uh, the, 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 um, the White House, the Capitola, the Pillars, like the, uh, like the Greeks, and all the, even the, uh, the statues, all the monuments that they got. They all white, you know what I mean? That they all white and they all like the uh, so called the Greeks and the Grecians. You know, well, not the Greeks, but the Greeks and the Romans. Okay. Okay. Proverbs 8 and 13 It says The fear of the Lord is to hate evil Pride and arrogance And the evil way And the four mouth do I hate Right. Huh. Read that one more time Proverbs 8 and 13 It says the fear of the Lord is The fear to, of the Lord Is to hate evil, is to hate evil pride, pride and arrogance And, arrogance. and in the evil way, in the forward mouth, do I hate? Well, he hates all those things. He said the fear of the Lord is to hate those things as well. That's why we hate the so-called white men, because we know that they're the devil, because they evil. And history proves that they evil. And they're prideful. Yeah, they got the damn track record. Uh, the vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord, uh, concerning Edom. We have we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and uh, an ambassador I sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Yo, know, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. So he made the small the most of Egypt, but thou art greatly despised. America is the most despised country and nation on this planet right now. Everybody hates America. You know? The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Thou hast rose in the cliffs and the um, in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring thee down to the ground? Right. Nobody thinks America ever going down. He said, uh, you can walk within the cliffs and the rocks and you have the faces as high. It looks like modern day uh, caves right there. Mm -hmm. You can walk on all day time, you can walk on high. Uh -huh. Though thou exalt thy, although thou exalt thyself as an eagle, as an eagle, and though and though thou set thy nest among the stars, and you exalt yourself as an eagle. That's the uh, American uh, mascot. Is uh, eagle. Hence huh? will I bring thee down, says the Lord. Read that, read that again. It says, though thou exalt thyself as an eagle. 
and though thou set thy nest among the stars. He said you set your nest among the stars, talking about going out of state. So called white men always want to go out of state. They're trying to set their nest up there. They're trying to live up there. They're trying to go live on Mars and the moon. Uh. Well, bring thee down, says the Lord. Most likely he's going to bring them down to the ground. If these come to thee, it robbers by night. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm supposed to read it. You can read it like that. I can't see that. Thank you. If these come to thee, it robbers by night. How art thou cut off? Would, would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers come to thee, would they have leak? Would they have not leave, but they not leave some great. Right. They won't, mm -hmm. they won't leave us nothing. They steal everything. They take everything. They still doing it to this day. And they want everything. They don't want to leave nobody nothing. They want everything for themselves. Keep going. How are the things of Esau scattered out? How are the how are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy and, we, um, and that's through the internet. We saw now all the evil doing they own doing the internet. They own to we kill them with their own uh adventure. Uh, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have been, have deceived thee and rebelled against thee. Let's talk about um, Russia and all these countries like that. They're supposed to be at peace with America, but they deceive America and they're going to turn on America. Uh -huh. All these places. Because yeah. um, but we just did well. During the research, we just found out that Asia was spying on America too. They were tapping up our phones and stuff as well. So they, we knowing that um, these other nations, they're secretly spying on America, just like America secretly spying on them. Yeah. Right, because places like fucking, okay, with that Vietnam, where they dropped the Batman, mm -hmm. places like that, they're not going to forget what America did to mm -hmm. Those countries are building up their own to get ready for this world. Shut up! I'm pissed now. So that's why it says in Revelation that the nations were mad too. Mm -hmm. They didn't forget what they America did to them. Right. Pushing um, all their philosophy, pushing uh, democracy on everybody, mm -hmm. pushing abortion on people. You know, they push all these things on people. Only way certain nations, only way nations get help is they, they go in there and make them uh, do the things that they want to be pushing all their doctors and philosophy. So they, they, uh, they're going to actually get a chance to get paid back. So they're going to they gonna take it. Keep going on that. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and rebelled against thee. They have ate thy bread, have laid and wounded. And, wound un and wounded under thee. Uh, there is none understanding in him. So I die in that day, saith the Lord, even destroyed the wise man out of Edom. He said there's no understanding in them. So even the wise men have no understanding. So he said, I'm going to destroy them all. Um, there is none understanding in him. So I die in that day, saith the Lord, even destroyed the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau and thy might and thy and thy mighty men, most even shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount uh, of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Can I read that again? It says, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mouth of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. May be cut off by slaughter. So, you get a lot of people keep saying Jesus of everybody. He's destroying a whole nation of people. And it's so called white men. People say they believe in the Bible. That's what it says. You uh, honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. If you say you believe in the Bible, you tell me that so called white men is going to get put to death by the most time. He said you're going to kill them off by slaughter. All of them. Go ahead. For thy, uh, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, which is the twelve tribe of Israel, they put us in captivity. So because they did that to us, he said they're going to be cut off forever, which means they're not going to have no mercy. Where's the uh, dictionary? Compact Bible Dictionary. Mm -hmm.
Isaiah 14 and 14. I'm going to block it. I'm sorry. So, Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will say also in the mouth of the congregation in the size of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And they did that when they did that place that ground and that's and all that. Mm-hmm. Lucifer means basically the king right. of Babylon. Basically right. the white man. So yeah. this is great Babylon, Roman, Greek, and they're the king. This is a definition of Edom in the Compact Bible Dictionary. It says, Edom figures prominently as the prophetic sister as the scene of great future judgment. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from God. So the so-called Edomites, which is the so-called white man, even in their, this is, you know, hey, white man wrote this, and they tell you that they don't get no mercy from the most high. They're going to get all the fucking steps and they're going in this place. Come on. This is Isaiah 14 and 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly and perform thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did stick to the kingdom, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the things thereof, that opened not the house of the prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out thy grave. Like an abominable branch with a floor that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden on the feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renewed. Prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their fathers. Prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquities of their fathers. So they have to pay for what their forefathers did, just like we had to pay for what our forefathers did. Because we didn't date, we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's why we went through slavery. But we had to pay for that, so they have to pay for what they forefathers did as well. So do the twenty-eight and forty-eight. Says, uh, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and thirst, and in nakedness, and in, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. We said he's going to make us serve our enemies in hunger, and in thirst, and nakedness, and want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. So, so we're serving our enemies right now. Because so they did that to us. We got to go to inflation. Naked, hungry, thirsty, yoke of iron upon our neck. And we need so called white men for everything right now. We don't we can't live without the so called white men. Because we can't eat. Huh? We need everything. We need every everything we get we need through them. Because without their uh, welfare and their food stamps, which is your uh your uh, reparation, they, that's what they gave us by reparations, welfare and uh, section 8. And that ain't reparation. That ain't no reparation. The so-called Jews got more than that for the Holocaust, and that wasn't hard. That wasn't, that wasn't even real. But they, they uh, give us uh, food stamps in section 8 and say, oh, that's all you niggas need. Because that's the only thing. They say the only right that we have is to live. We don't have no other right. We still consider three cents as a person according to the Constitution. So we're not equal to them. They don't think we're equal to them. Don't no white man think you're equal to them. They always gonna think you're better. They always gonna think that they're better than you. Mm-hmm. This is Baruch. This is gonna derive what you was um, repeating about the we were sold into the nations. Uh, this is Baruch four and six. You were sold to the nation, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemy, not to pray. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. And a lot of our people are still sacrificing to that image. 
So they're still sacrificing to devils and not to the true image. They don't have no knowledge of that. They have no knowledge of his name. They have no knowledge where they're supposed to face. They have no knowledge of why he came. They have no knowledge of anything, but they can show, sing a tune, and clap their hands, and take your money, and take your women. I have a question. Okay. Because that right there says, as far as Jesus, Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. Yes. God, Jesus, that's the spirit. How can you label him as a race? If he's spirit. Okay, Jesus was, did Jesus, was Jesus, okay, 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 hold on. Okay, Jesus, did Jesus walk there? He did. So how is he a spirit? Because Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit is one. That's the Trinity. Okay, that's not true neither. That's not true? No, the spirit is a body. This is the spirit. The Holy Spirit is word. The spirit is inside of you. When you die, your spirit comes out of your body. Well, yes, yes. The Holy Spirit is the word. Exactly. And the spirit, and the word, and your spirit is life. Exactly. How does that fit in? How does that fit in? Like that. Not like this. So you mean to tell me without the Bible you don't have the spirit? So let's say you're living wrong. You don't have the Holy Spirit. Right. That's true. All right, all right. Uh, 6 and 66, that is. All right, this is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. So, listen, we have a spiritual, we have a, first of all, as being Israelites, we, we have a spiritual connection with the Most High regardless. But, you're not, it's not, you're not close to him. Because you're not into his scriptures, into his word. That's how you get closer based to him. Based on what? Based on the scriptures. Okay, so based on, on how do you know I'm how I'm living based on the scriptures? Who says that I'm not close based on the scriptures? How do we read this again? We're going to read that first. This is John 6 and 63. Okay. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. The words that he speaks unto you are spirits, and they are life. So these are the words that he spoke. So Respect. these are the spirits, and this is life. Respect. So that's how you know if you live in Christ. Through the spirit, you got to go through his word on a continual stroke. If you're not following the world size word, right. thus says the Bible, not what we think, but thus says the Bible, then you're not living right. right. It's not taught. We're not going by opinion. We're going now, by thus says the Bible. what this black is all about right here. I want to understand, because I know Jesus is a black man. That, uh, that's how we are to him. Yeah. But what else is going on here? Hey, hold on. Hold on. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. How yeah. we Okay, it's in Revelation. Revelation. What? Can you get that coming? Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is um, this is the book of John 1 and 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word was made flesh. So the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us.